My name is Ryan Covarrubias. I am 23 years old and I live in Maryville, Illinois. My family includes my mom and my dad, and then I have one younger brother. My name is Kevin Covarrubias. I'm 22 years old. I was five years old when I was diagnosed with diabetes. When he was actually diagnosed, I was devastated and just felt our lives had changed forever. I decided to get off the injections and go to a pump because I was just getting kind of tired of having to stick myself all the time, having to carry all the equipment around with me. I had, I remember we had had a trial with my brother for Minimed. I thought that one looked cooler. So being as a kid, I was always like, why don't you get a Minimed? Why don't you get a Minimed? Those are way cooler than Animus. I got on the Animus pump when I was nine years old. And then I was with Animus for 12 years. When my two boys left the children's hospital, their new adult doctor had recommended the Minimed 530G system. The doctors said that the Minimed was much more user friendly. Since the Minimed, my, my controls have been better. They have features that the Animus Pump didn't have. I love the back button. The Animus Pump didn't have that, so you have to scroll through everything and then to get back to the home screen. So you had to go through every single thing just to get back to the home screen to get back to what you wanted. It was very hard to navigate through it. I think one of the best things about it and factors that would convince someone to switch would be the threshold suspend because, you know, if someone doesn't wake up at night because of low blood sugar, you know, it could be fatal. So with the threshold suspend, that's kind of a safety hold. The Bear Contour Next Link Meter is great because it communicates with the pump. I know that I feel that the doctors are able to communicate better with the boys because we have that uploading feature. CareLink is where we upload the data from the pump and that's used for the, the doctors to conceive my blood sugars, what my basils are, my activity levels, what I'm eating, and then make adjustments. It's very handy and very useful. Basically, you can plug in your blood glucose meter into your computer and it'll take all of the information from your pump and it will upload it online and then it'll send it directly to your doctor. Because I switched to the Minimed 530G system, I'm able to be in college, play sports, and do all the other things that I enjoy in life. My boys are the most valuable things I have and I want, until there's a cure, the most valuable equipment that they can have, and I think we've found that with Minimed 530G system. Important safety information. Successful operation of the insulin infusion pumps and or continuous glucose monitoring systems requires adequate vision and hearing to recognize alerts and alarms. Medtronic Diabetes Minimed 530G within light system. Minimed 530G within light is intended for the delivery of insulin and continuous glucose monitoring for the management of diabetes mellitus by persons 16 years of age or older who require insulin. Insulin pump therapy is not recommended for individuals who are unable or unwilling to perform a minimum of four blood glucose tests per day. If your insulin delivery is interrupted for any reason, you must be prepared to replace the missed insulin immediately. The information provided by CGM Systems is intended to supplement, not replace, blood glucose information obtained using a home glucose meter. A confirmatory finger stick is required prior to treatment. Minimed 530G within light is not intended to be used directly for preventing or treating hypoglycemia, but to suspend insulin delivery when the user is unable to respond to the threshold suspend alarm and take measures to prevent or treat hypoglycemia themselves. Warning: The threshold suspend feature will cause the pump to temporarily suspend insulin delivery for two hours when the sensor glucose reaches a set threshold. Under some conditions of use, the pump can suspend again, resulting in very limited insulin delivery. Prolonged suspension can increase the risk of serious hyperglycemia, ketosis, and catacidosis. 
please visit http colon slash slash www.medtronicdiabetes.com slash important dash safety dash information for additional details.